hey guys here's a quick video summary for edit excel all about electromagnetics You can easily make an electromagnet at home. All you need is a battery, some wire, and an iron nail. Because all that an electromagnet is, is an iron core with a wire around it, connected up to a current. You can use this to pick up things like um, paper clips or iron filings. When a current is passed through the wire, it creates a magnetic field around the wire. And this, in turn, strongly magnetises the iron bar thus creating our electromagnet. If you want to change the strength of an electromagnet, you can do two things. You can change the current. Or you can change the number of turns or the number of coils um, that the wire times the wire is wrapped around the iron core. For Fleming's left hand rule, we need to make our left hand in this shape here. So finger pointing out, thumb up, finger out. And your first finger is your magnetic field. This finger here is a current and then your thumb is the movement of the force. And what you need to do when you have an exam question is literally you can talk your hand until it fits in the right direction. So first was nice and easy. My field is going in that direction. My current is going in that direction. So the movement of the force um, is going upwards. This one here is a bit more complicated because this finger needs to be pointing in that direction. My current needs to be going down and then my thumb is going into the page. We can change the size of the force by changing the current. by changing the strength of the magnet or by changing the angle between the wire and the magnetic field lines. The greatest force is when the wire is perpendicular with magnetic field lines and the force is going to be zero if the wire and the field lines are parallel. A moving coil loudspeaker works by making a diaphragm attached to a coil vibrate. When we have a current passing through the coil, the force that is generated via the motor effect makes the coil move. Every time the current changes direction, the force reverses direction. So the coil is going to be going back and forwards, making the diaphragm go back and forward, generating sound waves. A moving coil microphone works with the same principle but in the opposite direction. Sound causes the diaphragm to vibrate, the diaphragm is attached to the coil. The vibration of the diaphragm moves the coil, which is going to cause the coil to move backwards and forwards past the magnet. The generator effect is just an extension of Fleming's left hand rule. When we have a wire and we move it through a magnetic field, we are going to be generating a current. In a transformer, we have a soft iron core. We have a wire which is going to be coiling around, and you notice there are a different number of coils here. We are going to be looking at varying the number of coils so that we can vary the um, voltage that goes into and comes out of our transformer. If we have a step up transformer, the secondary voltage is going to be greater than the primary voltage. So the voltage coming out is going to be greater than the voltage going in. If we have a step down transformer, the secondary voltage is going to be less than the primary voltage. So the um, voltage coming out is going to be less than the voltage going in. When we are looking at transformers calculations, we have voltage in the primary coil divided by voltage in the secondary coil equals the number of turns in the primary coil divided by the number of turns in the secondary coil. Our units for this are going to be for voltage, that is volts, 
and number of turns doesn't have a unit because it's just a number. You need to know that voltage in the secondary coil times the current in the secondary coil is equal to voltage in the primary coil times the current in the primary coil. And our units for voltage are volts for current, amps, voltage, volts, currents, amps. The national grid is how we get um, electricity from power stations to our houses. The, the power stations generate the electricity and they move it to a step up transformer and then through a network of cables um, and pylons this gets moved across the country to a step down transformer and then into our houses. Step up and step down transformers are an important part of our national grid. They work by uh, having a varying number of coils on each side depending on whether it's a step up or a step down transformer. A step up transformer will turn a low voltage into a high voltage so that the um, uh, energy can move through a system, electricity can move through a system with less energy loss making it more efficient. Whereas a step down transformer will take it from a high voltage into a low voltage so it's safe to be in our homes.